Well, a very good evening from Phuket, and tonight I'm taking you to one of my local haunts. This local restaurant in Phuket town has been here for as long as I can remember and is very, very popular. However, it is not a place where the tourists normally visit. This is very much for the locals. This local restaurant just on the edge of Phuket town is known by the name of Mare Sombat. It's very much a Thai restaurant. Not many foreigners visit this particular restaurant as all the menus are in Thai. But if you're staying local to Phuket town or in the town itself, well worth the visit. The restaurant is situated on Phupon Road, just off Bangkok Road in Phuket town. It's quite easy to find, however, there are no signs on the top of the restaurant, as you can see. It is sandwiched in between a 7-Eleven and also a super cheap mini mart. Let's move across the road now and into the restaurant. Once you've entered the restaurant, just grab any available table. Now, if you're really looking for that local Thai experience and want to dine with the local people, then most of the local Thai restaurants, you're going to find the menus will be in Thai. And of course, the staff in the restaurants may not be able to speak that good of English. So when you come in, they will give you a menu and a notepad. So of course, what you need to do is decide on what you want on the menu, then write it down. Okay, I've actually noticed there is a little bit of English as you can see but there's only one page of it so you're not going to get very far with that if you don't have some sort of translation app on your phone i know google do a translation where you can use the camera to translate some of the language but i have to admit the app is not very good because i've already tried it i know there's a few out there available i haven't tried them all okay i've ordered egg fried rice and tonight i'm having the sweet and sour chicken my wife has ordered the mackerel fillet, which is cooked in a fish sauce. One of the favourite dishes of my wife when we come to this restaurant. Anybody who watches my channel regular will know that I'm not a particular lover of the seafood. However, I must admit when I come here and my wife orders this dish, I do actually enjoy this dish very much. We've just had another dish arrive that my wife's ordered. I didn't realize she'd ordered it. Is the crispy pork with kale. Very nice dish. If you're coming over to Thailand on holiday and really want to experience the Thai local way of life, then there's nothing better than visiting one of the local restaurants. Of course, if you don't have a Thai partner, then just bear in mind the ordering process might be a little bit interesting and a bit of fun as well. It's handy to have one of the translation apps on your phone because you can't always rely on the staff being able to speak English. However, some of the staff do speak broken English. So just bear with it and I'm sure you're going to be able to order some sort of food even if it's not originally what you planned. I think that's half the fun coming to one of the local restaurants. And the other thing to bear in mind is the food may be a little bit more spicier and less watered down like the touristy restaurants. Final dish just arrived, which is yellow curry. Looks very nice. Fish yellow curry, is it? Yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to be full tonight. Well, we nearly finished it all. Just the uh, yellow curry left over, which one of the beauties of this restaurant, you can take the food away if you don't eat it all. There was quite a lot of food there between the three of us, four dishes, but the food is very nice here, very delicious. So this is one of the real local Thai restaurants that you're going to find in Phuket town. There aren't many foreigners that visit this restaurant, however the restaurant is busy most nights of the week when you come. You 
can come if you're a foreigner, you can come in the restaurant, but just bear in mind all the menus are in Thai. The waiter staff, the people that work here do not speak a lot of English. So if you're going to come and try some of the local places, which I recommend you do, but I would have some sort of translation app on your phone just to make it a little bit easier. And there's the bill, 540 baht. Very good. A lot of food there for 540 baht. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, found it useful, and if so, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about Thailand, then please do feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you happen to be an owner or a manager of a business or company over here in Thailand and would like to take part in one of the videos on my channel, then you can drop me a line at my email address, thailandtony only at gmail.com. Well, as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.